All right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel. Guys, if you are not subscribed to the channel, it is time. Uh, we just hit 5,000 subscribers, and we are having some fun. So subscribe, hit that uh, notification bell, and say hello to our friends Ren and Stimpy and Powder Toast Man and Log TV and Skeleton for the month of October. And let's get started. So this is the next newest knife from our friends at Finch knife company and finch is doing some awesome stuff this is the halo in blue in military blue 14 c 28 n with a black blade so really really cool now this is part of what they call their sport series so if you go on their website they list um the sport series as the halo the chernobyl ant the Devil, Devil's Finger, Cimarron, Takuna, and Runtley. You guys, a lot of you probably know them for their more modern, traditional-looking uh, knives, but I'm telling you, their sports series should not be overlooked. Now, this is the second... Um, you know what? I'm going to have to do something while we're doing this because I didn't prepare, which is terrible. Uh, this is the second uh, knife. Um, I think it's the second. If there's a third, I'm blanking right now, but... Uh, the Cimarron, which I got out now, uh, is also in 14C, and this one is a great outdoors knife. Man, why won't you focus? There you go, 14C. Uh, this is a great outdoors knife. We will definitely use that as a comparison, and then just because of some similarities, I grabbed another one here that we'll do some comparisons with, but uh, if you look at this guy, oh wait, I want to grab one more. Boy, I am doing a terrible job here. Okay, so the uh, the Halo guys, so they are coming out with these very soon. You're watching this review. Uh, the week they're supposed to come out is when I'm dropping this. Uh, I am not quite sure yet exactly when, but they are going to be at dealers all over the place. And again, this one is in 14C, a little bit of oil there. Uh, these are produced by our friends at QSP. Now, there is... A blue and yellow uh, two-tone mica uh, micarta, a uh, G10 version, as you see here. Uh, you have uh, the blue on the outside, the yellow on the inside. Really, really cool uh, design. You do have, uh, you know, liners that are uh, inset there, and you have a liner lock, and we'll talk more about that in just a minute. You do have Yeehaw contoured scales, black hardware, uh, you do have your Loom logo. Now, on this particular one, uh, the, I haven't seen any like this, but this particular one, my Loom logo, is sticking up just a little bit. Um, now, it may be, if you look in the middle here, it, it's flat. And then, so it may be because of the contouring of the scales, because obviously the Loom logo is not contoured. So it doesn't bother me. It doesn't feel weird in the hand. It's nothing, just something to point out. Uh, you do have a titanium black coated pocket clip here, and you will have about that much sticking out of the pocket. Uh, this does remind me of sort of a, a larger sod buster pattern uh, with a different blade. Uh, so really cool. And that's why I pulled out a couple of my uh, comparisons here. Um, I'm going to put it right here. Now, this is, oh, by the way, I forgot to say, there's also a black, a red and black version. So what I keep telling everybody is this is uh, Spencer from Finch's way of having a San Diego Charger knife because I'm a Charger fan. So this is the Chargers knife, and then the red and black one is the Chiefs knife. And wh whichever one sells more, uh, the team wins. So you guys buy more of the blue ones, please, uh, so the Chargers will win. I'm just kidding. But uh, really, really cool. The red and black one looks great as well. So let's talk specs real quick and get that out of the way. 7.1 inches overall. The blade length is 3.1. Handle is 4 inches. Uh, the blade height is 0 0.90 of an inch, so almost an inch, but thinner. Uh, handle height is 1 inch. Um, and the thickness of the handle is 0.45, and the weight is 2.9. Uh, and of course, Finch is based in Stillwell, Kansas, and these are made in China by QSP. I think this is DLC coating, but I am not sure. It is a black coating of some sorts. Uh, look at that nice shiny edge. 14C, you guys know this guy's going to cut. Let's just see. Yep, there you go. I mean, money. Look at that. So just so good. Uh, I have used it. It, it is cut. Um, nice thin stock, I would guess like 0.12 
is my guess. Um, and it comes down, flat grind comes down to a really nice edge. You do have a sharpening choil and you have this, uh, you know, Finch uh, flipper tab. Ergonomics, really, really nice. I mean, uh, feels good in the hand. Uh, no jimping, don't need it. Nice uh, rounded, not crowned, but kind of chamfered off rounded spine. You can come up on the flipper tab, but be careful. Um, you get that. Uh, but it is a four finger knife back here. And to be honest with you, I kind of prefer uh, the, the grip back here. You do feel the clip ever so slightly, but it is not a hot spot. Great uh, kind of fat belly clip point here. Uh, blade. I love the belly. Now this would be great uh, for outdoor stuff. Uh, you could use this as a skinning knife. You could use it uh, to clean your fish, whatever you want to do. You could use it uh, for basic camp chores and things like that. That amount of belly uh, is going to be great for all of that. Now, my only one little nitpick, and it's not really because and I'm going to tell you, I'm gonna, I wish there was a tiny bit more locket bar access, but um, that lock bar uh, just moves so easily. All you do is slide your thumb across. So it's not really that big of a deal. Um, as you can see, it's not a problem. I mean, the, the amount of effort to unlock it is not a lot. So uh, would I like a little bit more? Sure. Is it a big deal? No. Action-wise, uh, it's a finch. Uh, so it's going to flick open. Uh, you got to get it past that detent, guys. It's going to flick open like crazy. It's going to drop to your thumb, and then a shake or two gets it home. Uh, really, really cool. That's a finch thing. You, you can expect that from finch. Uh, for sure. Uh, but again, you know, a little bit more lock bar access would be great. Uh, why did my camera just lock up? Okay, we're going to keep going because it's back now. We are dead centered. And on the lock up, uh, we, well, come on, focus. Wow, there we go. On the lock up, uh, we are good. We're at about a 20 to 25 there. No blade play, no lock rock, no anything like that. So let's put this guy down. And let's show you the Cimarron here. By the way, you get that awesome Halo sticker. Look at that. That is a cool sticker. Now, it is a little bit smaller on both ends uh, than the Cimarron. And here is your Chernobyl Ant. It is about the same size as the Chernobyl Ant. Now, we've talked about the Chernobyl Ant being one that uh, reminds us of a Sodbuster. So there you go. Uh, that will give you definitely... Uh, that that comparison. However, this is more of a sod bustery blade. This is more of a big belly uh, kind of thing. All three of those are fantastic outdoor sport knives, as they call them. This is a very similar blade with a traditional handle. This is, uh, matter of fact, if you look, there's a lot of similarities in these two knives. One is in G10. Uh, well, both are in G10, but one's in a bolster lock version and one's in a liner lock and you've got the 1934, and you've got uh, the awesome, uh, you know, Halo here. Now, the Halo is going to be about $99 at dealers, and, uh, you know, the, the 1934 was a little bit more than that. I can't remember, like 145 or something like that. Um, this one's 154 this one's 14C. Uh, so if you're looking for a more affordable kind of version of this, uh, that, that one the, might be your answer uh, two more comparisons. Here is your Rat 1, a lot bigger, and it's going to be about the same, yep, about the same size as a Rat 2. So, very, very cool, guys. I am digging uh, the Finch Halo. You can see it is absolutely a cutter. Um, I have cut a lot with it. It, it is a fun, fun little knife. I uh, can't wait to get this one. This would be a great bring with you fishing knife, lightweight. Uh, just thin and slicey and great action and snappy as usual, like all finches. So check it out, guys. These are coming out very soon. Uh, I will have a link down below to Finch's website, but you can obviously find these at dealers uh, very, very soon or maybe already when you're looking at this. The, uh, I bet you these will go pretty quick, in my opinion. And then the next one, guys, coming up in November unless they change something, is going to be this reciprocity. I am very excited to do my review on this blue masterpiece uh, with the stonewash blade. I am still stunned by that one. Uh, so good. So I can't wait uh, for that one to be ready to come out. And uh, yeah, that's it, guys. So give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you think of this one down in the comments. 
Uh, sorry, this video is a little bit longer, but I did a lot of comparisons. And thank you so much for all your support. Thank you, Spencer, for sending this one along. And thanks for watching the Knives Fast channel.